We'll go to Capri and the Malfi Coast. I'm a creamy person. This is our Airbnb in Sorrento. We chose Sorrento as the best place to explore the southern part of Italy, as far south as we'll go anyway. We'll go to Capri and the Malfi Coast. This Airbnb is pretty great. Uh, we've got a nice little kitchen, a bed, shower, and the best thing about it is we have this balcony with an ocean view. We can see uh, Mount Vesuvius and Naples, as well as just out to the ocean. So it's pretty epic. Uh, we'll hopefully get some great views from here. That is Mount Vesuvius, the mountain that erupted and basically ended Pompeii. We were just filming on the balcony and apparently the people that stayed in this Airbnb uh, before us skipped out on their tab at the restaurant downstairs because the lady thought that it was still us so we had to explain that we just got here, we haven't eaten out here for food yet, so we couldn't have skipped out on our tab. Day one in Sorrento, uh, no run this morning. Instead, we're going on a hike. We're hiking to a popular swimming area. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna take you with us. So we've just about made it to the swimming area. There's some Roman ruins here. Online, this was listed as a hike. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a hike. Um, it's just a walk. There's sidewalk until one point where you kind of go along the highway for a bit with no sidewalk. The roads are kind of narrow. It's a little dicey traffic because it's a little close to you. So you might want to be extra safe during that time. But once you get here, it's uh, pretty cool. Jamin also bought us some snacks. These are the kind that I keep pulling out when we're on tours and the tour guide's talking and looking directly at me and I'm like, mm-hmm, 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 yeah. And I'm listening, but I'm also a little hungry. So I'm a little shaky. It was a lot scarier than I'm sure it looked. The rock is really pokey. So you're trying to like stand on it and not fall. And then you're trying to like get the courage to like jump and you see other people do it and you're like, I'm just gonna walk up and do it. You get there and you realize you can't actually stand on it as well as you think that you could. All these guys have been doing it before me. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna dive in. And I did. My back is also still thinking about the fact that it just dove into that water. I can't believe I did it. I thought this was gonna be a really legit 
college hike. So I decided not to wear my swimsuit on the way here. I was gonna change into my swimsuit when we got here. This is where I did it, right here, overlooking all the people swimming and nobody noticed. going on an excursion to Capri so we're going by ferry we're also gonna stop and see the Blue Grotto so we're excited about it uh, hopefully it turns out good standing on the porch in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time in time Barefoot on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes Here in Capri, everyone marks their houses, street numbers, things like that with these little tiles and even the city marks their electrical boxes and utility outlets with the same little painted tiles. Um, it's really pretty cool. that we're not gonna hike up to the city. We are not going to take a bus anywhere. We are going to sit on the beach and drink some cold sparkling wine.
finally getting around to trying cannoli. So here it goes. It's got a little lemon on it because we're in Sorrento. It's got a lemon flavor in the cream. Then the inside of the cannoli is coated with chocolate. So it's kind of a chocolate and lemon. I like it. So mine looks like this. So I'm assuming it's mostly chocolate. I don't know. We're gonna find out. It's mostly chocolate. I don't know why I didn't go with one of those. Because I'm a creamy person. That is chocolate. So you're looking at like a big little heavy thing of chocolate here. So apparently we are really good at ordering for each other because we decided to trade. <laughs> where we're staying is actually not a part of the Amalfi Coast, but it's kind of like the doorway to it. The Amalfi Coast is actually a little section of coastline that is between Positano and a little past Amalfi a, to a little place called Vietri Sumare. I believe I'm saying that correctly. I feel like I always have to give that disclaimer whenever I'm saying something in another language. It's beautiful coastline. We actually took the bus, which was really cheap. You can get a 24-hour pass that takes you between all these cities um, for just 10 euro per person. Not super convenient though, something to think about. It was supposed to take us an hour and 15 minutes and it took us a whole two hours to get here, but it's so beautiful, it's worth it. It is our first stop. You ate a whole pizza and drank a bottle of Prosecco and now you're stealing bread. Don't tell everybody <laughs> that. I just, I like to have snacks on me and I like to walk well, and Well, there's eat no snacks. And talk. You don't have a bag of Cheetos puffs in your bag? No, I do have some Cheetos in my bag. <laughs> so that we can see all of the cities from the sea and hopefully get the best of both worlds.
so this train, we had such a different experience on it. When we came in to Sorrento, it was madness. So we were standing the whole time wearing our backpacks. I think the cause was a strike. Um, so the trains had been on strike from nine to one on the day when we traveled and I think we were on like a leg of the one o'clock train. So it was the first train to come through after the strike. If you look online, they usually schedule the strikes and so you can kind of see when they are, but you kind of have to navigate around them. If you want to hear us talk in depth about um, how we navigated the Amalfi Coast and all the different routes we took and our recommendations, you can tune into the podcast and you want to be sure to subscribe because next we are headed to Rome. Rome. We love Rome. And we're stopping in Rome again because life is short. Wander well.